It was more drama on the court than anybody at a basketball game bargained for when the referee calling the game collapsed from a heart attack. And one of the players turned out to be a real lifesaver. Stephen Fabian has details. The basketball game is in full swing. Suddenly, the referee wobbles. Then he collapses. There is an eerie silence at the gym in upstate New York. Then you see a player run to the stricken ref's side. He is furiously performing chest compressions, and he sure seems to know what he's doing. I run towards the emergencies. I don't run away from them. That's because the player, 25-year-old Miles Copeland, is a firefighter with the Toledo, Ohio Fire Department. By night, he's a semi-pro basketball player. That's him. He's number 44. From the very first moment, Copeland knew the situation was dire. I just don't happen to feel a pulse. I don't. He's not breathing. In the stands was the ref's fiance, Donna Metz. Did you think you lost him in that moment? I, I did. I mean, he, he was gone. I mean, that's the fear. So my only hope was that they could bring him back. For 30 minutes, Copeland worked to get 61-year-old John Scully's heart going again. It was an eternity. And watching your loved one's chest get pumped like that, it's terrorizing. Here she is nervously looking on during the effort to keep her fiance alive. But it was so traumatic, Donna says she had to leave the arena. 30 minutes went by. And they finally came out and said, he's back. You know, he's talking, he's alert. What was the first thing the ref said when he came to? Uh, he was kind of jokingly saying that he was going to go just back in and ref the rest of the game. A young man who's never traveled with the team, wasn't scheduled to be here, stepped in and saved that man's life. Talk about a lucky break. Today, the ref went in for heart bypass surgery, but before he did, he shared with Inside Edition a message for Copeland. Miles, my heart literally goes out to you for saving my life. You are my hero. It really makes me feel feel really good. I love him. You know, he, I'm his biggest fan he's ever going to have in this world. And there's more good news. Mr. Scully's family says he got through today's triple bypass with flying colors. Now they're focused on his recovery. We wish him the best.